Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. All right, everyone, so I got another little uh, locking plier uh, tool I want to share with you guys. This time it's uh, by the company Engineer. I believe they're a Japanese company, but uh, for whatever reason, this tool here says down here that it is made in Taiwan. Um, you do have English and it looks like Japanese on the back of the thing, so uh, I guess it tells you how to use it. Tells you about the locking mechanism. Now the part number for this is PZ66. I seen this on uh, Last Best uh, Tool Channel, a guy named Doc or something. But I thought these were pretty interesting. These uh these locking pliers. I believe they're supposed to be uh, six inches in length. They do have the uh, comfort grip on them as well. But the, uh, the the cool thing about these, let me go ahead and open them up for you. I'll show you the reason why I uh, why I got them. And they were around 20 bucks i got these off amazon and they were kind of hard to find i actually had to go to uh engineers page on amazon they, you couldn't just type in uh these locking pliers because they were bringing up all their all, uh, engineers all their other locking pliers except for this uh set and there may have only been a couple of these left i think they're around 26 bucks but uh the locking nut on the back here it is a um looks like it takes a small allen key for the back of this now the, the gnarling on this is a uh, pretty decent size uh, of course it's a coarse thread screw going through there but this one here it has the uh like the van pliers it has the uh, teeth at the very top of them here and that's good for uh you know helping you grab bolts tips of uh bolts or screws or whatever if you want to grab them i'm uh, just trying to show you guys uh it's having a hard time focusing here I was really having a hard time focusing. Well, you guys seen it. All right, so uh, it's got really, really small jaws here. Um, it doesn't have the handle like the other ones do. Uh, like here, show you the brim where it doesn't have the uh, this piece here where it helps you pop them out. Kind of like this grip one, the same type of thing. It's kind of like this uh, vice grip one where it just locks and unlocks. It does this, like I said, the vice grip doesn't have that either, but. Like I said, this one does have the uh, comfort grip on both sides. And we'll just go ahead and just get a quick measurement from the front to the back. And we're getting about uh, almost six inches. It's like five and five and three quarters, pretty close. These other ones are six, uh, six inches as well. And as you can see, they're a little bit longer. So they're probably a little bit more closer to six inches than this one here. Uh, as far as the tip goes, um, compared to the Bremen, it's a little bit a little bit wider than the others um, as you can see here the uh, machine uh, grind marks on the top here it is a little crooked it's a little more to this side than it is to that side so the uh, the final touches of the machining marks on the top bottom looks okay um, you do have some uh, laser etching here um, and the engineer name and the part number of the pz66 and then your lot lot number on it as well uh, you got that as well um, the rivets the jaws uh, the jaws are nice and tight they're not real loose and flimsy like some of the cheaper ones and then the uh, serrations on the teeth um, they feel okay they're not they're not too bad um, as you notice when I clamp these you don't have a whole lot of room inside here some of the larger ones, as you can see, you have more of uh, an open area here, and that's good for gr uh, grabbing small things and stuff. These are kind of almost pretty much like a flush <clears throat> all the way across here. Also, this one does not have any cutters anywhere on it or anything like that, so that doesn't have that option in it. But like I said, the main reason why I got these is because I wanted to get these. Uh, I like that it had these teeth in it for grabbing and gripping bolts. I thought that was a pretty neat little touch. But like I said, um, we'll go ahead and I'll grab grab a screw here. We'll just give them a try here. So here's just a screw here. And if we can just grab it, try and loosen this up. Oh, yeah. I uh, doesn't say on the website what's the maximum width or you know that you can use these at where they're going to be. Where they're, where they're gonna work at as far as opening and closing wise. Uh, doesn't say anything on there about uh, the warranty uh, process. So there you go, there's that. And that, that feels like that's in there pretty tight. 
So that might be good for, you know, if you, if you have a screw that breaks off or whatnot. These little teeth here in the front, they should grab it and be able to pull it out. Now, I have done that in the past, uh, broken off screws and tips, but um, grabbing a pair of uh, vice grips or locking pliers, you really can't grab it from the front like this. You actually would have to grab it from the side and grab the teeth just so the teeth would grab across. So that's a good thing about these teeth here in the front is you can grab them straight on like this and they should be able to grab on there as long as you lock them in there tight enough um, let me come get some allen keys and we'll figure out which uh what size this is all right so i went and got an allen key so to figure out which one this was this is actually a uh, three millimeter allen key and as you can see it fits in there it's not super snug in there but it does fit in there so it's that's the three millimeter Allen key. And like I said, I just want to get a measurement for you guys on these jaws here. Cause as you can see, they're a lot shorter and a lot stubbier than these long ones. Um, only thing I could say about having a shorter jaw is that you're probably going to get more, uh, a stronger, uh, grabbing because the longer the, uh, the longer the, uh, jaws are, the more loosely they get as you get away from the uh, focal point from the point here, as you, as you get further away from this, the teeth kind of, uh, can get loose or slip apart or wobble around or whatever so uh, these are got a nice short jaw on them they're about um look at about an inch and a quarter from uh here to here so they're inch and a quarter these other ones are about two inches long so it's about three uh three quarters of an inch shorter than uh, m uh your usual uh locking jaw needle nose locking jaw plier so as like i said they, having the shorter jaw should give you a better gripping uh point uh points and help with the slipping of the jaws or the jaws uh, sliding from each other from being over top of each other because they're closer together but uh that's it guys um i don't think i'll be able to put a link in the description because i took uh i'll see if i can find one if i can find it i'll stick it in the description but like i said it was uh took a little bit uh to find it on their website because like i said it wasn't on just uh you can't just type in long nose uh lock and pliers engineer because like i said it brings up all their other pliers and if you even type up needle nose locking pliers it won't it, it wouldn't even bring these up i had to do it like i go through engineer on their site on amazon and go through there and find it that way but that's it guys i uh, so say thank you god bless you guys and just stay safe and uh, have a great day thank you